Thanks to the Marvel Cinematic Universe, Thor is one of the world's most popular superheroes. He is perhaps most well known for his iconic hammer called Mjolnir, or how it's properly pronounced, Mew Mew. Mew Mew? What's Mew Mew? From calling lightning to being impossibly heavy, we've had a ton of fun building and testing different variations of Mjolnir. And this episode of the Hacksmith Vault, we'll take another look at some of the best moments. Welcome to the Hacksmith Vault, where we revisit, revise, and revamp some of your favorite Hacksmith projects. But before we even get into the hammers, if you're gonna wield Mjolnir, you at least better look the part. It's not about the hair or the eyes or the skin or the clothes you wear. There's so much more beneath the surface. Jokes aside, we all know that Thor's hammer packs quite a charge. We couldn't summon lightning just yet, so instead we built an electrified, capacitor-driven hammer capable of holding, and more importantly, releasing a high-voltage charge. I figured out how to place a capacitor inside of Thor's hammer, and it fits pretty good. Let's see if it still works. Woo! Woo! Not bad. Now, to recreate the destructive power of Mjolnir, we also filled one with molten lead. And to take a page out of Hulk's book, Thor Smash! What, you thought we were done? By now, we were giddy with power. Maybe we could catch lightning. If you want to see how we pulled that one off, make sure you check out the full video. It's linked below. It was truly the experience of a lifetime. But besides that, my favorite ability of Mjolnir is the simple fact that only the worthy may pick it up. So we decided to make a trick hammer to mess around with our friends. I am Thor, Odinson, but you might know me as the strongest Avenger. You filming this? I did it. Why don't you uh, try and pick that one up? <laughs> it's no 
as laser looks. <laughs> yeah, it's not going anywhere. That's uh. Yeah, it's not going anywhere. <laughs> What's in there? How did you? Alright, so what's the trick there, James? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Did you spot the trick? It's pretty clever. If you didn't see it, make sure you check out that full video, too. You're all not worthy. Oh. <laughs> Finally, with all these hammers, we were starting to get a bit of attention on the internet. In fact, we even got an email from the mountain's manager asking if we could make him a hammer, since his nickname is quite literally Thor. We sought out one of the heaviest metals known to man, called tungsten, which in Swedish translates to heavy stone, and created what we thought was the world's heaviest Mjolnir. Our goal is to make the hammer approximately 50 kilograms, or around 110 pounds. Just this small piece weighs almost 20 pounds. Oh. Oh. Dave! Dave! <laughs> Look at that. 114 pounds exactly. Let's see who's heavier, Jordy or Thor's hammer. <laughs> Three, two, one. Oh my god. That is so unreasonable. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> ah. 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 <sighs> Ammonium nitride. Oh! Oh! Ah! Oh! 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 Unfortunately, we haven't had a chance to present our gift yet, but once the travel bans are off, we'll be headed to Iceland. After all, we did put his name on it. Finally, as a joke, we even made a Mjolnir capable of jump-starting a car. Why? Why not? Yes. As you can see, trusty Mjolnir can power a truck. So that about does it for the first episode of the Hacksmith Vault. Remember, for an in-depth look on how we made any of these hammers featured in this video, make sure you check out the links in the description below. We have a full playlist of all our Thor hammer builds. Let us know in the comments below what projects you'd like to see revisited, revised, or revamped. In the meantime, I'll leave you with Juji Mufu smashing a stove with our lead-filled hammer. Another! Man. Come on, come on. Burnt it. <laughs>